Good morning, land of Facebook, geniuses out there. <laughs> Let's collaborate. How many times have you been caught in a cycle where you just can't decide whether to stay or go in a relationship? Or whether to even get into a relationship? How many times have you been ultra confused about somebody? about whether you wanted to be with somebody or partner with somebody. Like when I think about this in my 41 years, I have probably felt like this every single time I met somebody, <laughs> right? It's pretty common to have confusion around this. And I want to talk about a little bit about, Hey, Wendy, I want to talk a little bit about not so much why or even how to make that decision, but give you some clarity around the question itself. Okay. Because a lot of people get stuck in these cycles of should I stay? Should I go? Is this person the right person for me? Is this person in front of me who I am currently engaged in a relationship with? Are they the one? Are they meant for me? Are they the right person? Or after the fact, you have a lot of regret. I should have pursued that person. If I had only behaved differently in the relationship, we would still be together. Or if they had only behaved differently in the relationship, we would still be together today. Or if circumstances were different, whatever. Uh, regret about staying, regret about going. And we carry this energy of regret and confusion in our auric field. And it definitely affects us, okay? It definitely affects us in more areas than just our relationships. And even just having that confusion says a lot about where we are on our life path and purpose as well. Because as you get closer to aligning with your life path and purpose, a lot of these confusing situations in life, including around relationships, resolve themselves. And that's why I'm so passionate to use my psychic ability to identify people's life purpose. Because when you know that, you have so much clarity about what is important to you and what is not, you know, what you should be focusing on and what doesn't, doesn't deserve your attention and confusion and fret over it. But that's, that's neither here nor there. For relationships, I wanna say this to you. No relationship, no relationship starts or ends accidentally. No relationship under the sun, under our central sun <laughs> on this planet, <laughs> no relationship begins or dissolves by accident, okay? There's a plan to that. And every person that you engage in a relationship with, particularly the people that you're intimate with, are your soulmates. And that means that your souls are pals. That means that you've known each other far before you came into these bodies and you will continue to know each other long after you leave them, okay? That means that you too had a plan for this relationship in this lifetime, a very specific plan with a very specific start date and a very specific end date, okay? That does not require your human participation to figure out. It's a done deal. It's already written, okay, by you as a soul <laughs> with the other soul. By the time you come into your human bodies, you are living the script. You are fulfilling the contract with that person. You're not creating it. It's already done, okay? You're experiencing what you already decided you would experience. And so again, there's a very specific start date to relationships and a very specific end date. Your free will about this comes in around how you feel about that, okay? So the relationship is destined, but your free will comes in because you get to choose how you respond to that how you feel about that, what you're telling yourself about that, what your mindset is, okay? And then what you do from that space, how you, how you behave from that space, that's your free will. So there is no accident. 
when it comes to relationships. So stop worrying about it. Like eliminate the worry, right? There's literally no reason at all to have confusion around relationships. If you're together, you're together. You're supposed to be together, okay? If you're not together, you're not supposed to be together. It's not because of anything you did or didn't do that could have created a different outcome. You're not supposed to be together, okay? The power you have is how you feel about that and what you're telling yourself about that. So if you are in a relationship and having confusion, going through a breakup, maybe you're meeting someone new, there's confusion there. Affirm to yourself, remind yourself, this person that I am engaging with is a soulmate. There is a contract between us. There is a plan for us. Okay. And I am going to be open and aware to living that out. I'm not going to interfere with that. I'm going to enjoy the ride and I'm going to trust and have complete faith that if it's meant to be, it will be. And I'm just going to eliminate any worry, shame, guilt, or personal responsibility for how that works out. Now, that's not to say you shouldn't take responsibility for how you are with your partner, okay? That's a, that's a total other thing. We're not bypassing that. But just in general, for staying or going, if you're meant to be, you will. If you're meant to go, you will, okay? You choose whether you're gonna go with that when the door opens for you to enter. Are you gonna walk through or are you gonna uh, be dragged? And when the door opens to leave, are you going to gracefully walk through or are you going to hold on tight, you know, and be dragged? That's your free will. That's your choice. So I hope that helps you guys to eliminate some worry and pain. Okay. So this is why it's so important to know what your soul contract is with your partner or your prospective partner, or even who you're meant to meet. If you're single, it's very useful to know your soul contracts so that you can focus on fulfilling them in the way that you and your, your soul wanted to instead of getting caught up in confusion and paying attention to things that are not relevant to you and your partner. So if you want to know what your soul contract is with your partner, hit me up and we will book you in. I will tell you. <laughs> I will tell you everything. <laughs> Take care, guys.